Oh, welcome to GOT. Today we got something new in store. Today we are actually going to unbox an Apple Mac Mini. And this is the M4, I believe. So this is a PC user going Mac. So I'm gonna unbox this and give you my first impression. You don't wanna miss this. So we're gonna move these tabs. There we go, get rid of those. Turn this bad boy over. Now this is the M4 Mac Mini and the Mac Mini M4 Basic. So I got this thing at the basic level, which means it's a 256 megabyte storage, which we know is a bare minimum. Whether you get this one or the one that has a full terabyte or more storage, it's the same Mac mini. So I chose to get the basic model because if you wanna add storage, all you gotta do is get an external hard drive, which is what I've done. And I'll cover that in a minute. So let's just set this down here. So inside here, you've got the cord. It's really a nice cord, actually. It's a woven cord, giving it a little more strength and durability. So you're not gonna get it because it's vinyl or plastic. So that's pretty nice. Now let's look a little further. Throw that down there, I don't need it right now. Inside here, what else is in here? It's just some warning information. Is that actually a little booklet or pamphlet on it? No, they're just little discs telling you a little bit about safety on the Mac Mini, but who's gonna waste their time with that? Not me. Let's take a closer look at this Mac Mini. This thing's aside. Now this Mac Mini is lightweight, and I'm not sure how concerned you are about weight, but it feels really solid and good quality. Plastic build on the bottom, and I believe there's a fan in there for exhaust. And the one complaint that I hear is it has the power button on the bottom. I don't know how that's gonna be a big deal for me. I rarely ever turn off my PCs, so I'm not worried about that. Will it lay flat and can you reach the button? No, you can't actually reach the button with it laying flat. So you do have to tip it up to get to the button, but not a big deal to me. It has two USB C's on the front and then three USB C Thunderbolt 4's on the back. So that's a little bit faster speed than what you get on the front. And then the HDMI port, Ethernet port, and then of course the power cord port. So it's Pretty simple, pretty basic. Looks like you got the LED light there to let you know it's on. And then this is a 3.5 audio jack, so you can connect your headphones to it. So that's really nice. One thing that is missing, as you can see, is there is no USB-A port on this. So instead, I'll just use a dongle that actually will plug into here and give me my USB-A ports so I can hook up paraphernalia like my keyboard or my mouse. So why did I get the Mac Mini? Because of the price, basically. I was able to get a educational discount on this thing, so I got an additional $100 off. So this is actually $499, that's not bad. $599 for those that don't get the discount. But if you look for sales and discounts out there, you may be able to find it. But this is the fastest running Mac on the market right now with the M4 chip in it. This thing, what I understand, folks that have the MacBook Pro, they say that they have the Mac Pro, Book Pro M1 or M2, that this thing processes and does things a lot faster. So I'm excited about that because I was torn whether I wanted to get a, a MacBook or get something like this. Well, this is like a fourth of a cost of a MacBook or at least a third of a cost. And now that I have it in hand, I can see how portable this thing really is. I can actually take this, put it in my RV. I can travel with it. If you have a wireless mouse and wireless keyboard, why not? Plug this into any USB port on a TV while you're traveling and you got your computer with you. Now, one important piece of that puzzle is going to be this hard drive. This is actually a terabyte SSD drive, plugs right into the Thunderbolt. So I get very high speeds as if it was right built into the system itself. So I'm not going to really lose any performance having this drive. This gives me a full terabyte. So now I have 1256, which is plenty. I can actually transfer data and even using Premiere Pro, which I do to edit and process my videos, I can actually do it between both systems using this. Now I actually have an i7, a really fast PC at home here with a 16 gigabyte RAM of video card. So it processes things, and runs things really fast just on it. However, on the PC, you get a lot of bugs and issues and it doesn't quite run as smooth, especially since you've got a video card plus the processor, everything separate. Supposedly, since everything is all together, you've got your processor, and your graphics interface all on one chip on here, it's supposed to be a lot smoother, a lot faster. So we'll find out. I don't know if the rendering is gonna be faster on this bad boy, but we're gonna find out because I would like the render to be a little faster, but more than that, 
is just processing as I'm going through the video. It gets kind of jerky on the PC and slows things up. Now, yes, I could probably buy higher end hardware from our PC to make it run smoother, but I would spend more than what I did on this alone. And I've been toying with getting a laptop so I wouldn't be strapped to my studio here for doing all my video editing, especially if I want to be on the go a little bit. I need something more portable. So I thought, well, this gives me the next best thing without paying the big money for a high end laptop. Why not just get a Mac mini? Because you know what? There are so many videos out there. You can just do an easy, simple search on the web where they are praising this thing and talking about how fast it is and how it outperforms their laptops. So we're going to test this out. We're going to see if this is everything they say it is. It's still going to be a large learning curve for me because I haven't touched a Mac in several years, but we're going to go ahead and give it a try and see how well it does. So let's go ahead and set it up and then we'll do a little more talking about it and I'll give you my first impression. So here's the GOT setup. I like the two monitors because the one on the right I could do all my editing on and it's actually a, a 4K display and the one on the left is actually a 1080p and I'm able to do research and whatnots on that while I'm doing my video. And now that I have the Mac Mini, I can go ahead and test some features on that as well. Sitting right there on my desk, it's really easy. It doesn't take up any space. Didn't change the profile of my setup whatsoever. So I kind of like that. And it's fitting in there rather nicely. And it does a really good job displaying the Mac operating system Sequoia on both monitors. And I have what they call a KVM switch hooked up to the monitor and the keyboard and the mouse. It's actually hooked up to both computers and both monitors and one keyboard and one mouse. Sets that all up. And that switch is really nice because it has additional USB ports, additional USB-C ports as well. So I can connect up to two computers on this switch so you can see there, it's just real simple for me to switch from computer to computer. You've got the Mac right here, switch right here, just push the button and it just flips over to the PC. And as long as everything's working, I have the PC going here. And just to give you an idea how quickly these things work, let's see here. Now let's go ahead and open up Premiere Pro for the first time after a boot. Let's see how long it takes on the PC. As you can see here, it's taken a bit of time. I should have put out a timer. But I didn't, so we'll just have to wait it out and see. Here it comes, and there it is. It's booted up. And then to just start a new project, we just hit New Project. I'm going to untitle it. Let's just create and open up, and there we go. Let's skip this part to adding stuff. And there's Premiere Pro loaded up on the PC. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing on the Mac. Okay, so here we are on the Mac Mini. Let's go ahead and hit Premiere Pro and get it started. Let's see how long it takes. And looky there, it is open already. That is extremely fast. Start a new project and we'll do it untitled. Here we go. And it's open and we'll skip this portion. And there you go. It's like instant. So it is incredible how much faster this Mac mini does do things than the PC. As you can see there, I'm still going to be running my PC along with this Mac mini and be able to test it against it. And I'll probably put out some videos comparing the two of them and how well they do and what the difference is in performance. But so far, my first impression is pretty good. This little thing is pretty doggone fast. And I think that's pretty much because of what they say, everything's so integrated because it is all Apple. Just like the iPhones here, as you see, everything pulls together and really makes this thing work smart, not just fast. Now I'm looking forward to doing some rendering on this and see how it performs. We'll do this whole video with the Mac Mini and I'll give you some shots and tell you about it. And then I'll also take and put it on the PC and let it render it and we'll see which one does faster. But you'll have to make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you can see those results in another video. So other than that, you do need a keyboard, a mouse, and a monitor of some sort. With the Mac Mini, all you get is the Mac Mini and a power cord. Everything else, you got to come up with yourself. And because I didn't want to dive in head first and buy the Mac keyboard or the Mac mouse, I'm just going to stick with what I have and it seems to work fine. And I believe there's stickers if you need stickers that you can label your keys if you want to get familiar with the Apple layout system for their Mac OS. But I'm not worried about it because I pretty much have it all down in here, which keys do what. And if I get lost or struggle, I just ask AI. Now that's it for this video. 
if you have any questions or anything you think I need to know about the Mac Mini, let me know in the comments below because I am new at this. So if you've got any pointers, tips, or tricks that you want me to know about, leave those down in the comments. And of course, while you're down there, make sure you smash that like button down below. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out further content. And if you like tech, this channel covers a lot of tech. And then lastly, don't forget Cyber Monday. That's today. You see, we've got deals out there, so go and get them. Now, thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate you. And until next time, God bless.